So today, me and Shubi Dooby are reacting to a compilation full of cringe YouTube boxing moments. If you want to say hello. What's going on, everybody? Looking forward to this. I know there's yeah, a, I mean, there's plenty of cringe YouTube boxing moments, so this should be interesting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I am looking forward to doing this video, especially as it's been like f nearly three weeks in the making due to like time schedule and conflicts and that, but we're here. We're finally here. Yes, sir. We're finally so. here. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Oh, <laughs> starting off with the gib crab. <laughs> I swear, like none of these TikTokers would turn back to the ring. Yeah, I, I don't think any of them did. <laughs> no, they they all got smacked up and then quit. <laughs> I mean. Apart from Vinny Hacker, but I was gonna yeah, say, even yeah. he didn't return. Yeah, he was like the only one. <laughs> oh, mate, somebody. Yeah, this event, man, was. Oh, this is hard to watch. I hate this <laughs> clip, dude. I hate. This. Yeah, you've got Vidal in the back, just looking. <laughs> He's like, "What the hell am I doing here?" <laughs> 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 oh, the thing is, th th this bit, this bit isn't that cringe, but it's uh, what comes after that. Yeah, it's he like comes out all hype, and then <laughs> just for it to end in shambles, <laughs> instantly just loses. Oh. <laughs> By the way, is uh, is the video volume good? Um, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, cool. cool. Dude, some of these guys make me embarrassed to be an American. Like, <laughs> yeah. Whose side was you on, by the way? KSI Logan. Oh, uh, dude, I am. I am the biggest KSI fan. Like, really? Growing up, I've been watching him since 2012, and it's weird because like I live in the U.S., but I just stumbled across yeah. him in the Sidemen like a decade ago, well, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Obviously, I'm from the UK, but I've been a fan of Logan since about 2014. Like, I used to watch his Vine videos all the time. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I did watch Jake, but it was mainly Logan, but... Yeah, yeah, I, I was Team Paul all the way. Really? Yeah, yeah, I've always been Team Paul. Funny yeah. fight. That's crazy, man. You would think it's the other way yeah. around, where we live, but no. Nah, yeah, that, I know, yeah. That just shows, man, like, how much power these... Uh, these influencers have like in different countries and stuff. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Hey, quickly. I, I don't think this. I don't think it, this. Uh, this clip's gonna be in this video. But do you know the guy stood in between Logan and Mike? I think his name's Radio Rahim. I think. Yes, sir. Radio Rahim. Yeah. If, if, yeah. Um, <laughs> did you see the clip when Logan and uh, Logan was at the uh, Jake fight against Tommy? <laughs> and like, I think Logan was speaking about Jake. He was like, "Oh yeah, I love him." And then Vadi Rahim was like, "I love you too, man." Yeah, dude. <laughs> Watching that live, I cringe so hard. Oh my <laughs> god, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so loud in there, though. Like, you can't hear him. Yeah. <laughs> did you watch this event live? Yeah, I watched this live with twelve of my friends. It was. It was the experience yeah. was awesome. Honestly, yeah, I think, I mean, despite the controversy, I think Social Wolves is like, is up there in terms of events. Oh, I, I think it's great. I agree. I I have it in my top five events, I believe. Yeah. It, was it the um, video you made not so long ago? Yeah, I did a tier list. I think I put it in my top five. Um, yeah. It was definitely in my great tier. Yeah, not not sound like a fanboy, but yeah, I, I, watched, I watched your video. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I didn't watch this event live. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't either. I think this was the only one. Oh, this and the, um, like, I don't know what it was called, but the Fousey and Slim yeah, I ha event. I didn't, yeah, they're, they're the only two. I didn't watch any of the social knockouts live either, just because, like, the ones Oh, yeah, I watched the Dubai. first. I watched, I watched, yeah, I watched the first two, but, I mean, it was mainly just to put on in the background whilst I was doing something. Oh, dude. 
Oh. <laughs> That's kind of good though, cause he he went viral and got more exposure yeah. for it. But. I was expecting for his second fight to do it again, but he never did it, did he? Yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> He's probably <laughs> scarred. <laughs> And a meme was born. <laughs> it's crazy how like big Pinedo is now and Misfits. Yeah, dude, it, it's it's heartwarming to be honest. It's good for you. Yeah. Me. <laughs> These press conferences were so <laughs> bad. I mean, they were they were <laughs> awesome to watch, but so cringe at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to think, though, isn't it? How, like, far Kingpin's come from their first event to the second. Oh, yeah, for sure. They definitely got. Some uh, some investors or something. Yeah, some mad investors. Wasn't it the same company that did a uh, Showstar? Was it Showstar? Show. Uh, yeah, yeah Showstar. Showstar. So I believe they just rebranded into Kingpin. Yeah. And then, I'm not gonna lie, the quarterfinals were great. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Logan's got to get back in the ring, man. Oh, yeah, I, I hope so. Isn't DDG coming back? Oh, I hated it anyway. I, yeah, I saw, I think he tweeted something out, or maybe on his live stream or something, but I, I'm not sure if he'll actually commit to it. He's got so much other stuff going on. Yeah. One thing that was disappointing with Social Gulf Service that the um, Santa Fox never happened, did it? That fight. Yeah. I can't remember who he was going against, but. Yeah, I forgot about that. And the Danny Duncan fight as well. That never went through. I would love to see Danny fight. Yeah, same. Oh, shout out Fred. Yeah, I've, I've met him. Really? I've had a photo with him. Yeah, um, Misfits number two. That's sick. I gotta get over to the UK at some point and come to an Things event. as well, like, Misfits, uh, nearly, they'll have, like, four events in the UK, I think, by the time it's August, or if they'll uh, like, shuffle it to September, but the last three have just been in London. Like, there's so many other places in the UK that could have it, and they just keep doing it in London. Like, I know that's probably, like, the main attraction, obviously, it being the capital and that, but, yeah, yeah I mean, the one in Sheffield was great, because it was quite close to me but I just hope they have another one like nearby yeah I guess like from an American perspective I feel like every time KSI fights it's just guaranteed to sell out London so I get why they yeah, do it yeah that's the thing um, but at the but same it, time also don't, it, yeah I mean I think it just sell out anywhere whether it's London or anywhere else in the UK I was gonna say correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not really too up to date on my uh, my UK geography but KSI could easily sell out Manchester. He's already done that before, actually. Yeah, I, I was yeah I was there as well. He sold out the Copper Box in London, which I went to. Sorry, sorry for the flex. <laughs> nah, 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 you're good, dude. I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first one was London Copper Box Arena, which was quite small. I don't know what the capacity was. I think it might be like seven thousand. Manchester was like that sold out. I think that might have been about twelve thousand, maybe fifteen thousand. But they keep bringing it back to, is it the, I'm trying to think what it's called, I think it's the O2 Arena, oh no, Wembley Stadium, no, not Stadium, uh, Arena, o sorry, o the Wembley Arena. Isn't it the OVO or something? Or Yeah, the OVO yeah. Arena, they keep, they keep doing it in that, I'd rather them just, I don't know, venture out a bit more into the UK. Yeah, I think, uh, whenever KSI's not fighting, they should try to take advantage of... Even, I mean, even when he's fighting, I guess, but... Yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, branch out out of London, for sure. <laughs> 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 
Ah, what is this? Whoa, man. Can you imagine if Teji won? Like, none of this Jake <laughs> yeah. Paul stuff would have been happening today. It's crazy to think about. Nah. <laughs> so you were, yeah. you were rooting for Jake... You're rooting for Jake and, and Logan, Logan yeah. here, and you're from the UK. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's... Like, honestly, as well, I'm not even kidding. Like when I was in school at the time, as well, everyone was going on about it, and literally, I'm not even kidding. I was the only person on Team Paul. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy because f switch the roles. Like I was the only one rooting for KSI and Deji uh. <laughs> in my hometown. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> This was good, I'm not gonna lie. This was good. This yeah. Was good. As much as obviously, like, you know what I mean? I wanted Logan to have the upper hand in the press conferences. I mean, this bit did, you know what I mean? Like, I guess, kickstart the hype, like, massively. Yeah. Like, what he did here. To be fair, they both had, both sides had their moments, I would say. Yeah. I think you see George Junko. Yeah, look, runs up. <laughs> Does he run up on the stage? Oh. Yeah, oh, is he runs this up right on the here? stage. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also a huge Gib fan, so it's really hard to watch some of these clips again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, obviously, here I was supporting Jake, but yeah. ever since then, I, I have been supporting Gib. Yeah, his story is very inspirational. It's pretty cool to see. Yeah, but to be fair. Even though, like, I'm supporting Gibb now, when he fights Jarvis in the is it the semi-finals, I, I do want Jarvis to win. Really? Yeah, yeah, I, I want him to win the tournament. I wouldn't mind um, Jarvis or Gibb honestly winning. I just want to see a good fight, and I think it will be a good fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This was the most random beef ever. <laughs> Vidal and Shannon Briggs. Yeah, now the best ones. Well, that was that anyway. Hey, oh, uh, shout out. There's my new <coughs> YouTube video right here. That's crazy. <laughs> <Oy>. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, oh, no, yeah, that's a, that was interesting. They need to um, I, when I was trying to find this compilation, I was trying to find more of like a up to date one, but the the one. I think this is the most recent one I could find. Yeah, let's see. It was nine months ago. Yeah. Honestly, I might. Yeah. I might try to make a compilation, <laughs> get some of those views. Hey, hey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to drive me up to it or something. Yeah, they got. It. I'm trying to think. I'm. I'm trying to think though. Has there been like any more cringe moments since? Um. Misfits number one. Yeah, I would say anything Chase Demore related is very. Oh cringe. yeah. You know what? <laughs> I completely forgot about him. <laughs> His fight with Josh Bruckner, like the swinging, and then the whole thing yeah. with Stevie on the last one. Oh my god, dude! Uh, I, I couldn't believe he did that. Like I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I recorded my uh, li reaction live, but YouTube took it down for copyright. Oh, uh, I was yeah. so dumbfounded. My brain couldn't process what was happening. I just, my jaw was. I couldn't. Words were not coming out of my mouth. It was, I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last thing. Well, I see, I mean. <laughs> I was watching it, I don't because I, I was watching it with like my friends and that, but I, I, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know whether I was reaching for my drink or quickly checked my phone, but I completely missed that bit where he was hitting him on the ground. But I see the bit when he was getting pushed by security, and I was wondering what was going on. Obviously, when you saw the replays, I was dying. He just... He had the audacity to do the Adesanya emote over him after... Oh, it's just... That's so cringe. We need to remake a compilation, because there's been so many more moments, too. What else? I feel... I'm trying to think. Um, oh, the uh, bit at the press... Uh, was it the... No, the weigh-in for Misfits number two when Astrid leans into Kiss KSI. Oh, yeah, that's a classic. That's that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's any more. Um... I'm sure there is, I'm just drawing a blank. Yeah, I can't think. I'm 
trying to think of the latest Misfits. I think that was actually went pretty smooth. Oh, the there was probably some things in the uh, Misfits 006 pressers and stuff. I, f I feel like that event was very... I don't know. What well, was you not a fan of that one? Um, I was actually really looking forward to it. It was just a lot of people I didn't really know about before. Yeah, and, yeah, that was the same way. Right? And the event came around. There were some decent fights. Nothing really stood out to me, though. I, If I'm being honest, I expected a little more out of um, JMX. Yeah, yeah, same. But I'm not sure if you're, you're too familiar with American football, but the guy he was fighting, Le'Veon Bell, uh, I'm a big American football fan. It's, like, my favorite sport. And uh, he's... That guy is super athletic. He's a freak athlete, so... Yeah. I mean, JMX was just I mean, a gamer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't really know who he was until um, Social Gloves 2. But, uh, obviously, I watched that one. I watched the when he fought... Oh, is he uh, Uriah Hall? When he fought yeah. him on the Jake Paul Silver Undergard, and obviously watched him on number six, Misfits. But, like I say, I mean, he called out Logan Paul. If we'll see that fight, I don't know. Logan, honestly, there's not really much people Logan can fight because he's so big. Um, mm. That may be his only option. I know Logan wants huge names, too, to make the yeah. most money, which makes sense. At the same time, there, I can't think of anybody his size that has that big of a draw. Yeah, I mean, while staying into the Misfits world, I guess JMX would be a great option for him. Especially as <clears throat> there was like specified, was it like back in 2020? And even when uh, JMX knocked out Ginty, Logan did react to it and put it onto his Instagram story, but I guess it wouldn't really make too much sense considering that JMX just lost. Yeah. I guess there is Dylan Dennis, but would he even show up? F that guy. F that guy, dude. Yeah, honestly. Let me, let me hit you with a question before we wrap this up. If I think a good money fight and a fight that would do well would actually be Logan versus Jake. So, one, yeah. one who would you back? Like, who would you want to win? <laughs> and then, two, who do you think would win? Uh, that's a tough question, though. I mean, they did recently talk about it on, on uh, Impulsive, and they did say at one point they was going to insane it, but I don't think they're going to now. But, yeah, who would support... I don't know, I love them both, but it probably would be Logan, who I'd back. Yeah. But who I'd want to win, uh, sorry, no, who I think would win, I don't, I don't know. I don't think we've seen enough of Logan, do you know what I mean? Like, compared to Jake. Yeah, and... Like, I mean, I mean last time we saw Logan fight, it was against Floyd Mayweather, and it's hard to really judge how he can fight when he was fighting somebody, you know what I mean, so small and so good. Yeah, I think I think it would be a lot closer than people expect. They see Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. They see Logan, he's been inactive and like you said, he just he's coming off of Mayweather. But at the same time Logan which is why I think KSI uh, beating Logan is was a great win. I'm not even trying to be biased, it's because Logan's so big and would cause so many people problems. Yeah. Even Jake. I do think Jake would would edge it for sure because of his mentality. Logan's a little gun shy sometimes, but um, Logan's a Logan's a tough night out for everybody in this scene, including Jake. I would have to say. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't. Well, uh, recently anyway, a lot of people aren't putting Logan in the like top five. But uh, oh, well, not even top five, top ten. Like they've been ranking him like maybe like eleven or twelve, like in terms of best influence of boxer, but I honestly think he is in top five. Despite his record, I think he is in top five. Yeah, I uh, I agree. I only, I didn't rank him in my top ten or, or is my top ten YouTube boxers video simply just because he was inactive, but if he's yeah. if he had a fight recently, he would definitely be top five. For sure. Yeah, I mean, like I say, he just needs to, he needs to get, I, mean, I know it's hard obviously because he's doing his WWE, but I think he just needs to get himself out there and eventually... I guess climb up the ranks and then who knows? I mean, could be in top three. Well, I think, yeah, I think definitely it'd be in top three. Yeah, for sure. I would agree. He just he needs to get out there again, for sure.
Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for doing this collab. Yes, sir. Thank you for having um, me. Yeah, I mean, like I say, it's been a long time in the making. Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm glad you came on. I mean, we'll have to definitely set another one up. Yes, sir. Obviously, try, try and bypass the, um, you know, I mean, time and like the uh, scheduling, but yeah, yeah, we'll set we'll set another thing up. I enjoyed it. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me on. Well, that was that. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Comment down below what should we get to next. Uh, thank you, Shoe Doobie, for coming on. Of course, man. Thank you for having me. Make sure you guys show some love to Harley's channel. Um, if you guys want to check out my channel too, it's a uh, Shoe Doobie right here. This is actually my latest video. I just ranked the uh, top five YouTube boxing knockouts. So yeah, if you guys want to check out, show love to both of our channels, we'd appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, until next time. Peace. See you later.